corner. And that'd be a nice thing to know if it's time to bring it indoors or wrap it up more. Or Move it to Dana's barn. Things. What's that? Move it to Dana's barn. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a room. good question. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you think I might have missed out here that we should do? How many are you putting out of here? Just those two or? Only these two. Uh, I'm going to put them on two separate pies, and that's the only thing. Um, you know, winterizing the same? I know we were talking about, you know, wrapping some certain ways and putting straw behind others. I think we should try to keep as much as we can. Uh, these two hives identical so that there's only one variable, <coughs> really. So that there's only one major variable that we know about for sure. I mean, there's undoubtedly dozens of others, but I'm just trying to minimize them. That way we'll have the most consistent results. If we do it, we'll start to get some kind of indication of whether that's the factor. We're staying on this place. No, I, I, again, being a novice here, I was hoping you guys could help Terry me Terry and John, uh, it's obvious they're going to have to be 10 frame hives. Right. Uh, and we've got one medium hive that is in trouble. Uh, the two deep frame hives, full deep boxes, are as equal as I could think. Would you agree with that? And it, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And also, I think those are one that would, would uh, allow for the most condensation in them too. So that might be the better, uh, the better test. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's everything. We'll just pop them on. If nobody else has any other questions or suggestions. Thanks. Which, which two hives? Which one? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we want to. Is this which? This is going to be which one? This is the non. Yeah. That's the other one. Would you prefer the humidity? Yeah. This is probably the other one's probably the strongest one. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be this. Okay. Oh, because this one is designated for, for that. that. That's, that's what we're with it. Yeah, so we probably should. Mm -hmm. Once we open this up one evening, mm -hmm. make sure they, uh, all their plant stays together. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't think we can still feed and, and have that thing on. Yeah, it would be kind of awkward. I, I, what do we do with the inner cover? Another thing I could do is staple the screen to the bottom or something. I didn't think about how far down the cover would go. Oh, yeah. Yep, different inner cover. Well, I can get one, but if we're going to put this on another, on another one, for example, we're going to put on this one here. Yeah, take that. We'll fit on that one. Well. Anybody read that last issue of the culture that came out? That guy from New York that uh, had that application that he did on the inner cover and then he made another one. This time of year, it's probably a problem. All I can do is freeze that honey and then I'll fill the lights on and then I can eat it right now. It's just a little bit. Hey, you got their attention. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. Yeah, they're coming out. Yeah, I think I'll watch yourself do it. Okay. Maybe we let it. Do you intentionally do it with the opening on top like that as opposed to? I do because it was, I like to do it firstly because if there's any dead ones that die there, yeah. they lay there, then it's not going to plug the entrance. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. If they would die, That's an point. if they flipped over and they die, they could plug the entrance. Uh, I've heard that if it's open side down, they can drag them out. Oh, so, I've seen drug them out. Same argument with a different conclusion. Uh, actually, well, they fly with them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think they would think it's a little bit of Yeah, you would think so. Okay, you get a boss with me. Yeah. 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 Ye
Now the only thing I wonder, is this going to prevent the moisture from coming up through? Oh, the, uh, that part, the uh, filter? Yeah. yeah. Where if you had the screen, I would think it would let more moisture. That thing's really porous. Is it? Yeah. I mean, you could breathe through it. Is that the stuff that they use for uh, ground cloth? Uh, no, no ground cloth, I think, oh, no. is supposed to be non-porous. Yeah, oh. okay. Now it tipped a little bit. You wouldn't, need to, you wouldn't need to have the, t the uh, inner cover on this one. Then. Which direction uh, no, is uh -uh, the tip? Because there's really not supposed to be any air coming up through, so that, right. should, that should be fine just the way it is. Yeah. Well, there is a little bit of a gap just a little bit? Or actually, I think it's just a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's I a, think we do need yeah. a, the top cover on it, though. Which I figured was intentional. Yeah, it's one fewer variables. And it also lifts it a little bit. <laughs> so you can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Good idea. <laughs> no, if you actually put the top all the way down so that they can. Get the log books hanging out. Thank you. We're all wearing dark colors in the pack of bears. Now we, we make, do we make sure that it's tipped forward? <laughs> That one has a gas. I said, I know not to stand near you. So that this will, so that those will do any work when collections walk out. Oh, let's take that. Now, is the top of the that built in? Two right away. Come on down. The wind chill. Your bees ought to do well in the boxes. Uh, we want to make sure that the inner covers and the top covers don't blow off in the winter, so it's very important to have weight on the top. Uh, we're not going to be completely done. Tonight is our last night in the bee yard. But we will be coming back and doing a few other things like wrapping a hive in tar paper. Uh, we still have some hives that are light. And so we're going to have to feed and we'll probably uh, switch to fondant because fondant does not have the moisture in it that uh, sugar water has. So I don't have any fondant yet, but we'll be getting some. On Friday, I'll bring some two to one sugar water over because it still should be warm enough. In the meantime, mm -hmm. we can find the fondant. Sure. So I'll okay. feed them again. I don't know. I don't know. But the thing we need to remember is when we have our meetings, we'll still have the round table discussion and any topics that come up there we can talk about. When I go into the round table discussion, I generally come in with an idea that gives me something to talk about if you don't want to ask any questions. I feel a little uncomfortable sitting there looking at you and then trying to pick <laughs> up my mind of, okay, what is it that we need to talk about? So I will come up with an idea to discuss, but I want it to be open and informal, just like this is, so that anybody that has a question can ask about it. And it becomes timely because now we are very rapidly running into colder weather. And I will also tell you, I was at the Ohio Department of Agriculture today, and uh, Ohio State Beekeepers met with uh, the assistant director for the Ohio Department of Agriculture and Barb Bletcher and the person who's in charge of uh, the, oh, the Emerald Ash Moor and the stuff like that that we have here in Ohio. And um, they seem to be interested in helping beekeepers. So we've got some positive notes going on there. But the essential thing is Barb shared with all of us that all across Ohio we've had a disastrous honey crop this year. There are people who are reporting <coughs> hives that are dead right now from starvation. Strong hives. Uh, and it seems to be the real strong hives are the ones that just go out there and you see bees all over the place and next thing you know you've got three inches of bees in the bottom of your hive. And they, there are bees with their heads stuck in the cells. They are totally dead from starvation. 